Rico. That was the weakest chant of the whole tour, bro. What's wrong with you guys? I said give it up for Rico, bro. Don't be sleeping on Rico, bro. Oh, not the Rico. Oh, not the Rico. Hey, uh, also, real quick, will you guys give it up for my whole team for putting on this uh, show? There's so much work and behind the scenes stuff that goes into touring and doing all this stuff. So, yeah, give it up for those people. Hey, uh, yo, I saw some dude, you guys probably saw him outside selling fake shirts. Yeah. Yo, I wish you guys, I wish you guys could see me. I stuck my head out the window earlier. I'm like, what are you doing, bro? Yo, he recognized who I was, too. He was like, oh, someone gave me these. I don't know. I'm like, yeah, bro, someone gave me those. I, I need glasses terribly, I, I can clear that. The outcast therapy session. What's this thing? Someone say it. I can't read that far. Here, pass it to this front person. I can't understand what you're saying. Yeah, I'm not taking it. I just need to read it. What's this the outcast finally returns with hope. Nice, nice, yes. Yo, yeah, which brings me to my next thing. Um, this journey has been amazing, and I just want to say thank you to every single fan who came out here tonight. This means the world to me. Yo, when I first started doing this, like most people, it's like you kind of have a dream and idea of what you want to do, but you don't really know until you're out here doing it. And uh, numbers-wise and stuff, I felt like for a while, like, oh man, I made it, you know? I went from broke, now I got money. I got a family, I got a fan base and everything, but I will say this tour, this tour, um, and I owe that to you guys, but this tour was a moment, a really cool moment for me uh, because I feel like I actually made it, man, coming on the road and, uh, yeah, sitting on the ground, so. Sweet, uh, I don't really have